A fire leaves an Omaha man badly burned. Tonight we learn two young children, only 10 and 12 years old, are under arrest for arson. The kids are brother and sister. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Carol Wayne. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Prosecutors say they've already confessed. Action 3 News reporter Sarah Tisla has the breaking news update. Sarah. The details about how the siblings set the fire are shocking. Tonight, they're in state custody. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says the kids admitted they set the fire. Klein says they spread some kind of accelerant around the bed while the mother's boyfriend, 37-year-old Jermaine Westbrook, was in it. The kids, two other children, and their mom got out of the house. The boyfriend was trapped. County Attorney Klein plans to keep the arson case in juvenile court. It's unlikely they'll be able to allow it home, at least for a while. There's several dispositions. They can be put on probation. They can be placed out of the home. They can be sent to the Youth Rehabilitation Center. But in any case, the, the court can maintain jurisdiction until they're 19. Klein won't say why the kids did it, but they'll be looking into the family history. I talked to the mother this afternoon. She wouldn't answer any of my questions about what happened. Westbrook has very severe burns and has been moved to a burn center in Lincoln, where he's in critical condition tonight. Sarah Tisla, Action take the Three the blame. News. They've dropped charges against two kids accused of setting a fire near 135th and Atwood that critically injured a man last week. Action 3 News reporter Sarah Tisla has the latest twist. Two young kids accused of a very serious and shocking crime. Prosecutors now say their mom started the fire that nearly killed her boyfriend. 31-year-old Tanisha Beard behind bars tonight for arson, assault, and abuse. Her two kids, a 10-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy, apparently took the blame for starting a fire in this home that badly burned their mom's boyfriend. But the real culprit? Their mom, according to Douglas County Attorney Don Klein. The children's involvement appears to be just to be a, a situation where she was using them uh, to take, take the responsibility. Klein says Beard poured gas around the bed of her boyfriend, 37-year-old Jermaine Westbrook, and then lit it on fire. She made it out of the house along with her four kids unharmed. Firefighters had to rescue Westbrook from the burning home. The young kids admitted in court they set the fire and took the blame for their mom. Uh, being involved in something like this, setting a fire, and, and you kind of wonder about the sophistication or the ability of them to get something like that done, where they would get the accelerant from, how they would know to do something like this. Klein says Beard got gas in a couple of one-gallon containers a half an hour before the fire. And while the two kids sat under arrest, he says Beard started confessing to family and friends. And last week, during her kids' court hearing, she yelled out in the courtroom that she had done it. Now, all charges against her kids are dropped. Jermaine Westbrook is still in critical condition in a burn center in Lincoln. Sarah Tisla, Action 3 News. A crime or a call for help. Prosecutors accuse an Omaha mother of setting a fire that badly burned her boyfriend. She initially blamed her kids. Now her family tells us the secret that she kept from pretty much everybody. Action 3 News reporter Fatima Ramatula has the new details. There's no question the fire inside this house was set on purpose. The fire department's report lists the cause as arson. Prosecutors say Tanisha Beard started the fire with a gallon of gasoline. Her family calls it self-defense, an act of desperation. They claim Jermaine Westbrook abused her. Her family gave us these pictures of Beard's bruised face. They say she took the pictures herself. If I saw the bruises, I saw the bite marks. You know, I, I, I witnessed the scar on her head from being you know, knocked unconscious with a chair, and, her, and I've talked to her children. They have shared with me the times this guy has beaten her. Her friends say she told them about the abuse, but never called police, and neither did they. She was afraid of him. She was really in love with this guy, and I, I think it was a sick type of love because, you know, he was so controlling of her. Westbrook's cousin says he never saw a violent side of their relationship. He says Beard even told him their three-year anniversary was coming up soon. So hear that and then this happened a couple days later, I don't understand. Beard faces many charges including arson and child abuse. Her children were all in the house when the fire started. If she can make bail, she'll be under court order to stay away from the kids. Reporting Fatima Ramatula, Action 3 News.